Hi, Shona. Thank you very much for participating of this short interview for the FIH Hockey Academy. Um, the first thing I would like to ask you is about uh, that video that we share in a hockeyworld.net where uh, with STX you are showing how you incorporated yoga into your uh, training habits. Um, so yeah, I filmed that video a couple of weeks ago down at the local studio, studio that I go to, um, Inspire Hot Yoga. Um, I try and go there once a week if my training schedule allows or twice a week. Um, I go there to relax, to improve my flexibility, um, mobility. It's really good to incorporate that in in my training schedule because we're training six days a week and we get quite tight and quite sore so it's a really good way to relax and unwind um, the body and also the mind it's it's really good for the recovery of the mind not only the body yeah so i assume that with the heavy schedule that you have that is very important uh, does it help a lot in terms of uh, injury prevention as well yeah i think um it's it's on a personal basis um, yoga some people don't enjoy it and some people do some people haven't tried it um, so it's not for everyone but I personally started it probably about a year ago um, I was having quite a lot of injury troubles um, and it was a really good way to to gently get back into training um, get the mind right and also the body right um, there's so many different types of yoga um, some are more power based some are more flexibility based some are very chilled out some are some are quite hard um so i i tend to go for the more chilled out ones because i i do quite a lot of training anyway and, and it's more of a recovery for the mind and body okay and how about your nutritional plan um we also saw that you uh post from time to time on twitter certain things that you prepare for for training and to get nutrition wise i mean um what would you recommend and what are your habits um so i try to keep nutrition quite simple. I try to eat um, fruit and vegetables, drink lots of water, make sure I'm fueled for training and make sure I get some protein and some carbohydrates in quite soon after training to ensure that my recovery is is where it needs to be. Um, at GP we have a nutritionist which we work um, quite closely with. Um, she advises us on, on what to eat and how much and, and more importantly how to fuel right for training. So she, she guides us there. Um, I do really like um, food. I'm a big foodie and, and I take a big interest in, in food and nutrition. Um, I like to experiment in the, in the kitchen, try some new recipes, um, smoothies as well. I love smoothies so I've recently um, got on board with a smoothie company called Natural Blender and, and we work quite closely in, in developing and, and making new smoothies. That sounds good. and. Um... I mean, in terms of uh, now the big uh, games coming up, uh, the biggest tournaments coming up, the big tournament coming up, sorry, um, <laughs> do you have a special type of uh, preparation when you get close to that? Uh, do you increase your training sessions? How do you prepare yourself mentally? Um, it's kind of a catch-22, obviously. The Olympics are just around the corner and it's a big tournament, but um, the more you think about how big a tournament is, the more nervous you get and... And maybe that's not a good thing. So I try and just, you know, we, we're lucky enough to train every day through our funding through UK Sport. So I have the opportunity to every day just go in with the same mentality, go in, train, give my best and go home. I try not to take, um, take it too far ahead in terms of thinking. I try and just stay in, in the day or the week that I am. Um, with the Olympics being so close, training has changed a bit. We've probably in, increased the frequency of matches. We've had quite a lot of matches against other opposition, which have gone really well. Um, but otherwise, we, we don't tend to change too much. It's more about little tweaks here and there. I think um, when the squad's announced, things may get a bit more um, individualised and, and tactical in, in that sense. But um, for me, on a personal level, I try not to change too much because and the last question i mean you talk about the intensity of the training sessions getting higher and higher and of course the tournament is one of the probably one of the biggest physical challenges um what do you do to be able to wake up the next day and be 100 percent again energetic and healthy and uh, 
what do you do to take on a new day after perhaps having a double training session or triple training session or a hockey game? How do you wake up the next day? Yeah, well, it's tough. So if I'm not going to lie, um, I don't think any athlete can say that they turn up to training every single day at 100% um, because we're not robots, we're, we're humans. Um, but it's all about ensuring that your recovery is good, you get enough sleep, you get the right um, nutrition on board, so you eat enough, sleep enough. A lot of people can underestimate the impact that sleep have has on recovery and, and well-being. Um, we're also monitored quite closely um, by the medical team over at G GB Hockey, and they'll monitor how fresh we're feeling, um, injuries, illnesses, that kind of stuff. So, you know, if we've got a bit of an injury or a bit of an illness, then we probably won't train at 100% and to make sure that we're back where we need to be um, in time. Okay. Well... Thank you very much. Uh, we had these questions in terms uh, of nutrition and things that you can do on the side to prevent the injuries and, well, how can you wake up after a, a training session and be 100%. So um, I think this was very useful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Not a problem at all. Thanks. Thanks for the call. Thank you very much and good luck for the next uh, set of training sessions and for the Olympic Games that are around the corner. Thanks ever so much. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.